How is your mindset holding you back? One thing that I've realized is the thoughts that we have, you know, kind of will dictate our emotions and therefore, you know, things kind of like reverberate through the universe and then come back to us. Um, uh, something that I don't think that, that I've shared, I hate taking video and photos of, of myself. Um, I dislike it with a passion. And I, I've been extremely self-conscious. Um, I've had several dramatizing stories from when I was younger, uh, starting with in second grade, uh, I had to get up and sing a solo in front of the whole school with all the faculty and um, parents. And I started laughing partway through my solo uh, because I was so scared, I was so nervous. I, I started laughing and pretty much the whole school laughed at me. Uh, that was in second grade. <laughs> uh, then that that really started um, this huge, you know, kind of like stage fright, um, you know, fear of public speaking. Uh, and it really didn't get any better uh, from there, uh, you know, leading up into high school uh, where, you know, when I would have to give presentations. Oh, wait, no, I actually forgot middle school. One of my teachers, bless her, Kay Warren, <laughs> she was an amazing uh, English teacher and she wanted me to read this poem in front of the eighth grade. I said, there's no way that I'm reading that. A, I, I did not like to share um, anything besides my, my art, N nothing creative besides my, my art. And she, you know, she said, no, you, you have to, you don't have a choice, you have to share this. And so when I got up there, I started to cry. <laughs> um, and she had to come up with me. She put her arm around me, <laughs> felt so ridiculous. I'm crying in front of the whole eighth grade. And she started to read my poem for me. And then I started reading it. And I was able to finish reading it. <laughs> um, obviously, super, super mortified. Um, it was not a good experience for me. And then leading into high school, I had the same <laughs> thing happen multiple times. But the teacher did not come put their arm around me. I just got up and cried. And then they're like, okay, you can go sit down. <laughs> and then they would call me up after everyone ha had already gone. And by that time... I was like, well, I've already cried in front of everybody and totally humiliated myself. It can't really be any worse. Whatever I'm going to say cannot be any worse. Um, and that was in my Spanish class because I, I, I was afraid to, you know, translate something wrong. I was afraid to not have, um, you know, to, to pronounce things correctly. And I just, I, I did not like people to to see me fail. And so I just, I, I really never wanted to ever be up in, in front of an audience. Um, you know, this has kind of continued to today, you know, but I look back on those things and sometimes, you know, I think, okay, well, the things that we're really meant to do, you know, like if I have a calling to share, to teach, um, you know, to like spread, you know, positive advice or just, you know, things that I've learned, you know, experiences that I've had that, um, you know, have kind of like shaped me or like helped me grow. Um, you know, I have to, I have to share these. I mean, let's, let's face it. Social media is the, is the best way to, to share. Um, and we can learn so many things now, you know, like I've, I've learned an insane amount of information off of, um, just, you know, different YouTubers, um, sharing books and, and courses and, and so on and so forth. So leading up to now, um, you know, when I was going to, you know, start making videos, I was really terrified. You know, I, I, I still am. <laughs> and I can recall, you know, I kind of feel like this is, you know, when kind of like blocks start, start coming, um, you know, we don't think that, that we're manifesting them, but we really are. Like, for example, my 11-year-old daughter, she'd see my, my video and say, oh, your hair looks horrible, or you have a big forehead. That's her, like, biggest thing. And she slaps at me and says, I have a huge forehead. 
whether I have a huge forehead or not, I don't know. But either way, and she's telling me these things, you know, you need to wear makeup, you know. Um, it will make me not want to make videos. And I'm just like, why, you know, why is this happening? Oh, you know, because my mindset is such that I'm scared. So, you know, I'm calling in, you know, events or people to say things to me to cause me to not make videos so I don't have to do it, you know, like on an unconscious level. I don't want to, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, you know, be in the public eye, you know, like due to my, my <laughs> issues that, that I've had, you know, since childhood. But, you know, I, I'm working to get through those. And, you know, part of that has been on my uh, Facebook and Instagram have been, you know, sharing personal stories, you know, extremely personal um, stories and the hopes that, um, you know, I can help somebody that's in a similar, you know, kind of stuck position. Um, so I know that I have to be sharing. I have to be doing this, you know, uh, people are appreciating it. So, you know, like, thank you for anyone that's like sent me messages, you know, that, 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 that's been, uh, validation that, okay, you know, even if I've helped one person say, oh, okay, you know, thank you for, for sharing your story. Um, you know, you're, you're helping to like change somebody's life. Um, that to me is worth, you know, making a video, um, even when I don't want to, <laughs> Uh, you can hear my son in, in the background. Another, you know, thing coming up, you know, like uh, it would be super easy for me to make videos, you know, if I didn't have any three-year-old, but the fact is I do have a three-year-old, so how can I make videos, um, you know, and figuring that out, you know, like that's another block. Oh, well, I can't because he's in, in the background. He's doing this, he's, you know, oh, it's loud. Um, and that's just a reality of my life right now. You know, I, I have a young child. <laughs> He's with me all the time. So what does that look like to, to make videos? But either way, you know, I just want to, to share, you know, like when you're wanting to create the life that you want, you know, you have to really examine your thoughts because your, your thoughts can, you know, have an impact on your emotions. So if you are saying that you want something, but thought wise, you know, you're like putting up blocks and then emotionally, you know, those are, are getting manifested. Even if it's, you know, your your kids coming to you and you're like, okay, well, that's an excuse to not do something. Um, that is potentially, you know, like your, your ego manifesting something, you know, so that you don't have to, to do the work because that's how I look at it, you know. Um, I shouldn't be embarrassed to make a video. I shouldn't be embarrassed to see myself in a picture or on video. Um, not to should on myself, but you know what I mean? Like, we can feel comfortable with ourselves, you know, like, you know, cultivating self-confidence, um, self-love, and therefore, you know, being able to share things with each other, you know, being vulnerable, being vulnerable, um, you know, which was a big thing for me and why I didn't, you know, want to get up in, in, in public, you know, that's like seriously being vulnerable in front of everybody. Oh, everyone's going to see me mess up or, or make a mistake, you know, and I can look back on it now like, well, that's probably not the worst thing in, in the world. So, you know, that's like part of the reason why I've been forcing myself to share uh, more and more personal stories, um, you know, because in that vulnerability, you know, I really feel like like there's magic there. There's magic in in your vulnerability. Um, so anyways, you know, just how can you change your, your thoughts today to create the life you want? Leave a comment. Tell me how you're going to change your thought process. Peace.